Hey guys, Dustin with the Custom Offsets here. A few days ago, we put a post up that said basically, give us your biggest truck myths or things that you've heard about lifting your truck, and we got a ton of responses. With that being said, we wanted to sit down and go over some of your biggest truck myths today. Before we do that though, you guys already know, wheels, tires, suspension, customoffsets.com. Also, be sure to check out our giveaway where you can help us support a great cause and grab a chance to win wheels, tires, and suspension for your truck. You can find all the information on that at customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. So let's get started. First on the list here is not all trucks that are lifted need to go off road. This one's a bit of a doozy, honestly. While yes, there are some builds that are purposely built to go off road, not all lifted trucks are designed to be off the pavement. I would even say that most of the trucks we see are actually built for quite the opposite and are made to be on the pavement either as a daily driver or as a dedicated show truck. Now that's not to say that you can't take your show truck off road. We did it and I totally stomped banker's ass in CO2 by the way. Either way, the fact still remains that no matter what you decide to do with your truck, you can find the build parts for it over at customoffsets.com. Myth. Pulling out a stuck truck in reverse is fine and won't damage your truck. The short answer to this one is, it depends. I'm sure that there's at least a handful of you watching the video right now who have stories about yanking a truck out that's buried in the mud with your reverse gear. While technically, yes, it is possible to pull a truck out in reverse, it's oftentimes not recommended. There's a lot of science behind it, but the general idea here is that your transmission, differentials, axles, really the entire driveline is engineered to put the most torque down when traveling in the forward direction. This means that while it is possible to yank a stuck truck out in reverse, and you may not break something the first time, it does put more stress on those components, meaning there is more room for failure. To be honest here, I'm not even sure how you guys found mud at the mall parking lot anyways, but hey, you do you. Myth, wheel spacers are unsafe. We actually get this one quite often and got it so much in the past that we actually made a whole video on it. If you ask around enough, I'm sure that we all know at least one person that bought cheap spacers online and lost a wheel going down the highway at 65. Not only is this extremely dangerous, it'll also require you to change your shorts after you come to a stop because it quite literally scares the shit out of you. Uh-oh, oh boy. The fact of the matter is, is that good, high quality spacers are both safe and dependable for your truck. The key here is to invest in spacers that have been tested by the manufacturer. That's why the only spacers we sell or recommend are Bora spacers, which are made of high quality aluminum and made right here in the good old US of A. Myth, diesels get bad gas mileage. First things first here, I hope a diesel doesn't get any gas mileage because if we have gas in the diesel tank, we probably have bigger issues than fuel efficiency. On a serious note though, this one really depends on what you're doing with it. If you're talking about hopping around town and stop and go traffic, the gas engine is going to be significantly more efficient. When it comes to long road trips on the highway though, the diesel usually almost always reigns champion. This is only further amplified if you're towing as the torque on the diesel is gonna help you float your trailer down the road more efficiently. Myth lift kits ruin your drivetrain. Of all the myths we've covered today, this one might be the most untrue. When you look at lift kits, there's absolutely no reason for a lift kit to affect your drivetrain at all. A good lift kit will come with all the necessary drop brackets and hardware required to raise the suspension of your truck while also maintaining the correct angles for things like drive shaft and CV axles. With that being said, and where this one gets a bit muddy is that with a lift kit usually comes bigger wheels and or tires. These bigger wheels and tires oftentimes add more weight or rolling resistance to the axles and in extreme cases can wear out driveline components faster. Let's face it, a 40 inch tire takes a lot more effort to turn than a 33. With that being said, there are tons of options should you wanna put massive wheels and tires on your truck like regearing, upgrading driveline components, and so on. Myth, aftermarket wheels will decrease your payload or towing capacity. Short answer to this one is, you guessed it, it depends. When it comes to selecting wheels and tires, there are a lot of things to consider. Finish, style, size, and offset are all pretty important, but equally as important to how these new wheels are gonna look on your truck is how they're going to perform with your truck. Most wheels are actually load rated from the manufacturer, meaning that the manufacturer has gone through the quality control process and has assigned a load rating per wheel so that you can confidently put them on your truck knowing your wheels are gonna hold up to any abuse you throw at them. Myth. Custom Offsets only likes lifted trucks. Listen, you guys know us. You know that we love big lifts. Several of our own guys here are rolling around on seven to nine inches or more of lift on their pickups. And while yes, that's true, it is pretty important to note that 
we love pretty much everything here. Street trucks, off-roaders, rock crawlers, and even a car here or there. You want proof? Check out our employee rides videos where we show you guys around the parking lot here and cover all the different builds that our employees have. Myth, the bigger the lift, the smaller the dick. Well, okay, that's true. I'm kidding. There you have it, guys. There's our top truck myths. Have a myth that we didn't cover in this one. Let us know down in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making the truck content you guys have come to love from us. Peace.